hey guys a very good day to you all so in the previous video we had seen modes of vibration of air column in a pipe open at one end and closed at the another end and now in this video we will see the modes of vibration of air column in a pipe open at both the ends so first of all let's assume this pipe which is open at both the end and as me mentioned in the earlier video that at the open ends we will always get anti nodes so at over here we will always get a anti node and at this open end also we will get a anti node so now let's assume that there is only one node taking place in the open pipe so let's draw the stationary wave for this condition So over here, since the pipe is open at both the ends, we get anti nodes at the two ends, and we have assumed that there is only one node taking place over here. So now, if you see that the length of this pipe is nothing but equals to lambda by two, since the two loops form one wave that is lambda, here we have half and a half loop. So half and a half loop combined to make one loop, and thus stationary loop consists of two loops. We get the half wave, which is written by lambda by two. Now over here, we know that the formula for velocity is nothing but n into lambda. From this condition, substituting the value of lambda as two l by taking two to left hand side, we get. Lambda is equal to two l. So substitute in this value of two l in this equation. Therefore, velocity is nothing but equals to n into two l. Taking two l on the left hand side, we get the value of frequency by this equation. That is n is equal to v upon two l. So this is the so, uh, equation for the frequency which we got to this first mode. Now let's see. the another mode in this another another mode we will again consider a pipe which is open at both the ends now over here like the previous situation always we will get anti node at the open ends and now over here we will assume that there are two nodes taking place Between these two anti nodes, so over there there is one node, and over here there is another node. So let's draw the stationary wave for this specific mode. Over here, if you observe carefully, that at these two points, we are getting maximum displacement of the point. so we have to write over here as anti nodes and now in this second mode if you see carefully that the length of the pipe is nothing but the formation of two loops that is one complete loop over here and this half loop and this half loop so this completely makes one complete loop uh, one co two complete loops and thus the wavelength is complete for a stationary wave so l1 l or here is nothing but equals to lambda 1 since the wavelength of this wave has been changed from this wavelength we have to write over here as lambda 1 if you observe carefully that this wavelength is much more larger and this wavelength is now shrinked so now we write l as equals to lambda 1 so, as usual the velocity the formula for velocity is nothing but equals to n1 into lambda 1 since Lambda one, lambda is changed to lambda one. Therefore, we also have to change frequency to n one as frequency is dependent on lambda. So v is now equals to n one into lambda one. Substitute in the value of lambda one from this equation as l. We get v is now equals to n one into l. Now taking l on left hand side, what we get is n one is nothing but equals to v upon l. So from here. we multiply and divide numerator and denominator by 2 respectively so if you see carefully from this equation 
n is equal to v upon 2l and over here this whole term is nothing but v upon 2l so substituting the value of v upon 2l from this first mode as n what we get over here in n1 is n1 is equal to nothing but 2n so we have derived this relation from the first mode and the second mode so now we have reached to the frequency value of n1 as two times the frequency of the initial mode now let's consider another third mode where si similarly the pipe is open at both the both the ends and as the pipe is both and both the ends open at both the ends we get anti nodes at the end and now instead of considering two nodes in between we consider that there are three nodes taking place in between so here are three nodes are taking place in between so let's draw the stationary wave from this respective mode over here if you observe carefully that there is anti node taking place at these two points so we have to write over here as anti nodes over here also there is maximum displacement so over here anti node is taking place so this is a complete diagram for this third mode now if you observe carefully over here that length is nothing but equals to this complete one stationary wave that is the form that is formed of two loops so lambda 1 sorry lambda 2 plus half and half loop which consist of one complete loop and half of lambda as lambda is consist of two loops we are getting only one loop this half loop and this half loop so half of lambda 2 plus this complete two loops which form one lambda 2 stationary wave is formed of two loops over here if you see that there are two loops so therefore i write over here as lambda 2 and over here there is half loop and half loop which is combined to form one loop which is nothing but half of the wave as the full wave requires two loops therefore i have written as half lambda 2 after adding this we get l as nothing but equals to 3 by 2 lambda 2 now from this relation we get the value of lambda 2 as nothing but equals to 2 by 3 into l we know the formula for velocity as nothing but equals to n2 into lambda 2 substitute in the value of n2 over here we get that v is nothing but equals to n2 into 2 into 3 l so now taking all the terms except n2 on left hand side therefore we get n2 as nothing but equals to 3 by 2 v into l now from from this relation if you see carefully that from the first relation n is nothing but equals to v upon 2l and over here also you can see that v sorry this is upon l so v upon 2l can be substituted as n so therefore now n2 is nothing but equals to 3 into n so this is the th these are the three equations we have derived to that n1 is nothing but equals to v upon n1 is nothing but equals to v upon 2l and from the first mode uh, second mode we have derived the frequency as n1 is equals to 2 times the original frequency and in the third mode we have derived that n2 is 3 times the original frequency so from this way we can write as n is to n1 is to n2 and so on can be written as 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to and further on continued so for the pth over tone we can write the generalized formula is that np is nothing but equals to p plus 1 into n so guys If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it as soon as possible because you will be finding all the videos of 11th and 12th physics, chemistry as well as engineering. So, guys, do subscribe to the channel 
and do like and share the video with your friends